Good morning, my name is Susana. I'm from the University of Salamanca and today I will present you my research building bridges to the integration of culture in English as a foreign language secondary classroom perspectives from teachers and learners. I'd like to start first by explaining the motivation behind my research. More than ever, complex interaction between cultures requires 21st century citizens to be able to communicate, showing sensitivity and intercultural awareness. Since the development of the Intercultural Communicative Competence Model by Byram in 1997, many recent studies have addressed how to teach culture in the foreign language classroom. However, a great number of challenges are still faced in actual practice, which I clearly observed during my teacher trainee placement. This led me to explore teachers and learners' perspectives on culture teaching in order to identify the potential misalignment between the teaching practices and learners' needs and motivations involved in culture learning. My ultimate goal was to evaluate the current situation and highlight the need for rethinking the integration of culture and consider actions to be taken in this direction. For this research, I designed a specific questionnaire to obtain quantitative data in order to interpret results from a qualitative approach. There were seven teacher and 64 student participants, and this sample was taken from the first and second year of compulsory secondary education of two bilingual secondary schools in the northern region of Castilla and Leon, Spain, as we can see in the map. From the analysis of the data gathered, we answered our five research questions. The first one was that our data suggested that the concept of culture was interpreted in terms of nationalism by teachers, whereas learners express cultural identity from an ethno-relative viewpoint that is not attached to a specific culture. Participants identified mainly cultural practices like lifestyles and celebrations, products which were artistic forms such as music, literature, etc. and small part the perspectives which are rooted in deeper levels of understanding. Secondly, the data show that the cultural component is incidental where most class time is devoted to the linguistic component and it's superficial because perspectives are widely disregarded. And this gives evidence of the fragmented and fact-oriented view of culture in the classroom. However, there are benefits at cognitive and affective levels were widely acknowledged by most participants, more particularly the acquisition of the intercultural competence with exceptions of the reflection on our own culture. Thirdly, the most significant differences were revealed in the mismatch between the teacher's methods and resources and learners' response regarding the motivation to culture learning. As we can see in the graph, some highlights are that teachers rely more on the use of textbooks, which are unattractive and not updated according to learners, and the use of the collaboration between teacher and teacher assistants, which were not uh, highly appreciated by the majority of learners. Next, uh, learners demanded more technology-mediated activities, such as interactive games, social networks, and digital reading activities, as we can see in these two graphs. When asked about the evaluation of the teacher training, Teachers claim that the initial training fairly incorporates culture-oriented approach, which is highly neglected in permanent courses and, as the graph illustrates, almost inexistent in culture-specialized courses. Finally, the findings support the premise that multiple barriers are encountered in terms of curricular development, such as syllabus completion and time restrictions, and the availability of ICT resources. Um, and public funded culture related projects such as mobility programs or extracurricular activities and in the last place support from publishing houses in the material designed and complementary supplementary material. All in all, the present research confirms that the culture plays a central role in foreign language learning, but it, it's still limited to instructional, technological and financial factors which should be addressed in teacher training programs. Thank you for your attention.